Hi, Dan Murray, your restoration coach. I want to talk to you today about the word commit. A gentleman who I highly respect and I've had the opportunity to spend some time with in the last few months, Donald Cooper, told me a, a funny story in a way, but one that just has just been resonating inside me uh, since we, uh, we had this chat. He said his goal was to stay married to his first wife. <laughs> You're getting it, aren't you? His commitment is to stay married to his third wife. How many of us, me included, have used the word target, goals, you know, hold people accountable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's so overused that it's almost goals and smart goals and all these things. There's time and places for all these things, but too many times, no one even pays attention to them anymore, unless you hold people. We try to hold them accountable, but you know, holding them accountable has a negative connotation, doesn't it? I read an article the other day that said hold them pro accountable. Put the positive spin on it. But I want to talk today about the word commit. You know, when people bring you ideas, ask, ask them if they're committed to doing it. It's as simple as that. I'm here at beautiful Niagara Falls, and I'm just going to turn. This is the Canadian's Falls here behind me. But if someone, one of your employees, came to you and said, hey, I want to uh, take a boat over the falls. That's my goal. You'll probably say, yeah, right, he'll never do that. And probably he shouldn't, right? Or I want to do a tightrope act across the, uh, the American Falls. It's, it, it's quite a uh, spectacular view here uh, this morning. I was out for my walk. But you know what? If you're in a boat and you're in that water just over here, my shoulder here, man, you are committed. So what can you do to make sure that you and your team are committed to the you know, two, three, four chief goals that you want to accomplish this year? Break them down into what you need to do this quarter. Break it down even farther what you need to do this month. Break it down for the week and break it down by the day. If you can just have little small advances every day, it makes a huge difference in your business. So that's my message for the day. What can you do and what can your staff do to be committed to take your business to the next level? Cheers, Dan Murray, your restoration coach.